Okay guys, welcome back to another video and today we're going to be discussing Bangladesh versus Oman and how the both teams, they, how did they go today? So today I've taken Oman, Coach Allen has taken Bangladesh and we're going to discuss with you how each team did. So starting off with Oman, they bowled, they bowled first um, and I think that they started off really well. I mean they put the Bangladesh team under extreme, immense pressure. They were all over them, their fielding was sharp, their bowling line and length was brilliant, the fast bowlers were swinging the ball in, swinging it away, using skill and variation. So they started off really well, um, creating a lot of pressure for the opposite team, putting them under pressure, making them have to do something special, which we've been talking about before. And then Fayaz, okay, fast bowler, 140 clicks, he bowled exceptionally well. But to talk about his caught and bowled was exceptional. Guys, to catch the ball while you're bowling is, is difficult as a fast bowler because you're bowling quick, you've got to follow through, and then your body starts rising slowly. So to catch a, a, a ball off your own bowling is pretty awesome. So that was a great effort. And also the great effort in the field. I mean, they were cutting off runs where the batsmen were thinking of running two. They could only get one because they were cutting off the angle of the ball, making sure that they cut off the runs and save as many runs out there as they possibly could. Um, and also what I think Amon did pretty well was they brought a real good energy in the field. You could see it while watching it on TV. The energy that they brought was phenomenal. I mean... Uh, they really encouraged the bowlers, they encouraged the field, the captain. The captain was pretty sharp in the game. And um, just that positive energy and always talking to each other made the batsmen think of, you know, yes, this team is really, they're getting on top of us. So it's just creating that mental pressure as well. Not only the scoreboard pressure, but you start getting mental pressure at the same time. Um, but towards the end of their innings, they started losing it a little bit. They dropped three catches. And what does Coach Allen always say? Catches win matches. So three drop catches does not help the cause. And a big wicket that they dropped was Shakib al -Hassan. Now that Oak, he can bat. That guy, he can really bat. He ended up scoring, a, I think, 40. Shakib, 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 uh, Shakib. 42 of 29 42. balls. Yeah. So he was struggling in the beginning, really trying to find his feet, looking for runs. Where is he going to hit the ball? Um, drop catch. I think they dropped him on 12 or something like that. So to drop him and for him to score 42, that really hurt. And the one team only lost by 26 runs. So if you think of it, if they caught him when they did, who would have known? Maybe they would have won the game. That's why catches are so important. Um, but nevertheless, um, towards the end, they started, the fielders weren't as sharp. They were sitting on their heels. Uh, they weren't looking for the ball, going after it. They were just sitting back a little bit because they could feel that they were losing it. And they weren't applying the pressure anymore. Um, and I'm going to let Coach Allen talk about the Bangladeshi's batting side. And then I'll flip over to Amon. Yeah, so Coach, he was... Firstly, a great game of cricket. Bangladesh needed to pull this one off to survive another day. Am I right? Yes, yeah. sir. Needed to. Aman looked killer. Loved their aggression. Loved the way they came out. Very positive. And they came to play and win. They didn't come to lose. And that was the attitude the whole game. You could see it. Bangladesh came out and had the odd patch where they were a little bit not sure. And then suddenly they got it all together and off they went. Mm -hmm. So, if you're looking at a Bangladesh uh, from the other day, there were big improvements in terms of uh, their batting, the way they were rotating, the way they were doing certain things. There was a good improvement. Um, I think there's still room to improve. And again, if you're watching the match, you would have noticed, and the commentators talking as well, is again, Bangladesh, these sides, the small, they haven't had a lot of cricket. They're rusty, they're struggling, they're looking for form. Um, the team is trying to gel. So these components put into a team T20 
T20 World Cup right now does add an additional pressure because you know your colleague is not running as sharp as he normally would. His time is a little out, but yet you normally have a power combination uh, like Coach and I would be a power, and you're just a little off. That throws the partnership off, throws the whole concept off. So you look at some of the things still just sort of sitting there, just looking at the notes here, um, you know, sort of shot selection not right, the rotation of strike not quite there still. Which is uh, a common factor. It's a common problem. In we've every known. single game we've watched, it's yeah. rotation of strike. Every single game. You're and right. shot selection. And shot selection. Okay, timing. Uh, that's a lack of cricket. Um, you know, not building those crucial partnerships at the right time of the game to set up the back end of the innings so your pinch hitters can come in and do their job, take the pressure off them, let them come in, bang the ball, you know, little couple of jackers into the audience and off it goes, couple of big sixes off they go, they make 30, 40, game becomes a different animal. So just those kind of things as well, you know, not capitalizing on the bad ball, uh, the feet not being used, the feet not moving at all, just sometimes swinging that back, not even putting a foot towards the ball. Um, you know, the timing's not there, trying to muscle the ball instead of just hit the timing. And that just shows you lack of practice. The guys are, yes, getting into the nets is one thing, playing game is a different thing. Mm. So while the guys have got there, they've, they've had some uh, minor little games here and there, it's not been enough to elevate it. Now we sort of see going in two games, three games, we now start to see that the, every game the standards get better, standards yeah. get higher, the guys are making the inroads, uh, Scotland for instance were looking sharp, things like that. Just, you know what, just keep going the way they're doing. Um, I think just, you know, one or two standouts, um, if I'm looking at, you know, Shaquille. You gave him a chance and he punished you. Yeah. Drop catches, don't win matches. Okay, and keep on saying it, all the coaches say it, Commentators say it, you guys forget a lot of these commentators are ex-retired, top professional cricketers themselves, and they'll tell you the same thing. So you Shaquib quickly shot up to 42 before he was like unlucky to run out, and he was starting to look rather lethal at that point in time. Yes. So I think there was a breath of fresh air when Amon got him, but you know. But now that you look at Nayam, Nayam, Niam, Nayam, yeah, okay, apologies, 64-49, Looked aggressive, didn't play the fool. Yeah. He said, I'm here to do business. I'm here to do my job. I'm a paid professional, I'm here to do a job and I'm gonna take you apart. And he played it really well. So I gave some strength and gave some in some depth there. You know, uh, nice. So that's just overall again the same, and you'll notice there's a trend in, in the videos that we've been discussing uh, in terms of the batting, the no feet, the no aggression, no rotation. Um, muscling the ball, the time is out. So those kind of things keep coming back in. But that's what I have to say on the batting. Overall, good performance. Got them through to the end. So it, not shabby. On the throw, the coach is way. Let him give us a rundown. Okay, yeah. guys. So talking about Amman's batting performance. Yet again, common common theme. Not enough rotational strike up front. It just it seems like it's. Uh, lack of game time, lack of practice, uh, getting used to these new Dubai pitches. They are brand new, so no one's played them on them before. So I think everyone's just getting used to the conditions in Dubai. Um, and also, I just want to talk about Jatinda. Last game he played, he played brilliant, outstanding player of the match, whatever you want to call it. And yet again tonight, uh, what I want to talk about is he plays the gaps very well. Very, very, very well. Um, he also has the ability to play the ball under his eyes extremely late, which means if you play the ball under your eyes, you can place it exactly where you want. You can't place it if it's out in front of you there. You can only hit it in one place. So I think he did very well. He ended up scoring 40 or 32 balls. But I think that's where the game flipped into Bangladesh's favor. That loss um, of Jatinda. If he stayed there until the end, I think it could have been a different game. Yeah, that turn. Yeah, so that was the turning point in the match, was Jatinda's wicket. So if you think of it, I think Amman could have actually have beaten Bangladesh tonight. If they didn't drop Shakib, and if Jatinda stayed in longer. Just those two things, I think Bangladesh would have been in for a real good shot to win this game. Um, yet again, good running between the wickets. 
when they did rotate strike, they were always looking for twos or threes. So good running between the wickets, uh, but then towards the end, the wickets started falling like flies because they, the run rate was something crazy, like 10 runs and over. So they needed to do something to get on with the game. And unfortunately, that's part of cricket. It didn't come off for them tonight. But uh, I'm wishing them all the best in the future for their next game. I hope they win. Otherwise, if they don't, they're out of the tournament. So that's the Oman's batting side. Let's see what Bangladesh had to say. Yeah, I think um, into touching on Bangladesh's bowling tonight, um, I think that might have been the little bit of catalyst as well. Put pressure on the Oman players at the right time. Nice, good pace. You're looking at uh, some nice pickies, a 140 task in 148, 149. I like this youngster. Mm -hmm. I like this youngster, nice and aggressive. Um, he's really in your face and he gives his all. He's got good variation. You know, one, 149, next ball, one, uh, 170. You know, in cutters, away swingers, a little wide, uses the popping crease very well, likes the ball wide, in narrow, things like that. Good thinker. So I think the edge for me tonight was the, the, the bowling a little bit. They started off strong and went through a little bit of a dull patch, paid the price, they allowed the, the, the uh, guys back into the game, but then reined it back at the right time. You know, when you start to look at, for instance, Mr. F Mr. Fizz uh, cracking on at four, uh, four wickets of uh, 36 odd balls. I mean, hello, great bowling. Um, you're looking at the spinners did an outstanding job just quickly digressing spinners did a cracking job put them under pressure tied them down made them have to go and look for the runs and a little bit of a catalyst there i think um so you started looking at that you look at uh, shakib okay uh he took jay to tinder at 40 okay uh, he and from there on he went on to roll and took three for 28 Sharp, 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 sharp cricketer. You know, you look at Shafuddin, one of 13. Uh, the guys all played at the right time. They took wickets. Also, good captaincy, good rotation of strike bowlers and, and spinners at the right time of the game. So understanding partnerships and the oppositions, looking for weakness in the batsman. So again, a great, great captain's role in terms of... Um, making sure that the right guys came in at the right time. Yes, sometimes a little wayward here and there, they got punished for it, um, but not you can't always bowl perfect. Just an overall good performance by the bowling unit. I do think they let their name down a little bit with their fielding. Think that Bangladesh's fielding could have been better. A uh, couple of uh, sloppy fielding, uh, catching and things like that. So, you know, guys, still... Great cricket to watch. Can't criticize because we're not there playing. Don't know their situation. I can just tell you that they're getting better day by day this size. So from my side, that's a wrap. I'll ask Coach Jordan if he wants to wrap it up. And uh, I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for all your support. Yeah, guys. Thanks for watching this video yet again. And if you like that, please make sure that you leave your like and comments down below. And of course, don't forget to subscribe before this video ends. All your support and help will be much appreciated to help this channel grow. And guys, don't forget we have a Udemy course for sale. Absolutely awesome. Coach Allen and I developed it ourselves. And it's for all you batsmen out there that want to take your game to the next level. That course is for you. The link will be left in the description down below. So even if you don't subscribe, at least look at the description. I promise you, you won't be disappointed. So guys, thanks for watching today. And we'll see you in the next games tomorrow. Bye. Bye.